Is that supposed to happen? I don't think that was supposed to happen. That wasn't in the video. Hey guys, what's going on? Brian here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're installing the Trident. So guys, I've... <laughs> I've actually had this hanging around for about two months. I'm just sitting around and I've just been uh, manually testing. Nothing wrong with that at all. It's just that, you know, when you got a piece of equipment like this, I can do it for you. Why not set it up, right? So let's get into it. I should also add, I've never done this before. So this should be fun. All right, so first things first, you want to pick a location where the Trident won't get wet. Um, is away from the salt water for spray and everything like that being um, electrical component. So I decided to put it inside our handy dandy uh, DIY controller cabinet that I made that you can watch up here. I am going to put it on this bottom shelf. And it's also recommended that you put it as close to the aquarium as possible. I think it's like no more than like two or three feet. That way um, it'll get the exact uh, liquid that it needs, uh, uses the correct amount of reagent, and you get accurate test results. Let's open it. Ooh, it's a fancy looking box. What's inside the box? Ugh. Looks like we have our, yeah, bottles of reagent. And we got some electrical line and some of the uh, tubing. This looks like our calibration solution. Bad Mamma Jamma itself, the old Trident. Comes with the card that says, warning, do not plug in. First open up the Apex Fusion app. Oh, let's we'll do it through the app. Cool. Let's do that. Where's my phone at, man? Thing got squirrely on me and ran away. It was right behind me the whole time. What we'll do is open up our app. Looks like, uh... yeah, I know. Yes. Yes, I know. Um, the salinity uh, probe is a little bit wonky. It's not really accurate right now. I had it accurate, but I had to unplug the probe for when I rerouted the wires uh, for the controller cabinet. So it says, did the cat really just go in there? I did not open that up for you. Anyway, select the task icon. Is that a task icon? Hey, that's a task icon. So it's the icon that looks like a clipboard and We'll select the Trident and go to Initial Setup. Uh, I don't want that torque. Let's go. So we'll go on the list and we'll look for a Trident. Tell me when you see it. Whoa. 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 Trident Initial Setup. Trident Initial Setup. Damn. Tried initial setup. It walks you through the initial setup. It's only meant to be ran once when you're setting it up. Do not connect the Trident to the Apex at this time. If you've already connected the Trident, stop now and disconnect it. Okay, we don't, we don't have it uh, connected. Congratulations on your purchase of the Neptune Systems Trident. Oh, thank you. This setup task will walk you through the physical installation and configuration of the Trident. Let's begin by going over what's in the box. What's in the box? Of course, this is the Trident. Oh. The reagents are stored here in this tray, and the connections to the apex, sample tube fitting, and waste tube fitting are all here in the back. This is the reagent box. It includes two bottles of reagent A, one bottle of reagent B and C, enough oh. for about two months of testing under normal operation. The Trident is already factory calibrated but sometimes shipping and other installation factors may affect that calibration a small amount. 
After settling in with a couple days of continuous operation, you may calibrate the Triton using this reference solution. This is a one-link cable that will connect the Triton to the Apex through an available one-link port on your EB832 or one-link module. For customers without an available one-link port, an optionally available Aquabus cable and power supply is required to connect the Trident to the Apex. This is the sample line tubing that will draw water from your sump. This is the sample line holder that will securely hold the sample line tubing. This is the waistline tubing that will transfer the wastewater to a collection vessel or drain. Finally, this is the Trident packaging box. Do not throw this away. This packaging will be used at a later time to safely send the Trident in for its routine service. Oh, so let's not throw the box away. All right, so it looks like this, uh, this feature on the app is going to keep going down each one of these check boxes to actually step-by-step step help us install it. So that's really cool, that's really helpful. Find an open space where you'll have easy access to both the front and the back of the Trident. It is not recommended to have the Trident installed at the aquarium at this time. Turn the Trident so the back is accessible. Take the black sample line tubing and connect it to the black fitting at the back of the Trident. It is important for the sample line tubing to be pushed past the barb on the fitting. Let's do that. All right. So here's the back. We've got our tubing, the black one he was talking about. So in this packet, we've got all of our tubings. Let's get it out. This app really makes it really straightforward, helps you out tremendously. Get out of here. Get off. Dang it. Alright, so he said the black tubing, it's all wrangled up, goes around here. Black tubing connects to the black tube. Straightforward. He said to push it past the barb. Alright, it's, it's flush on it. That's what you want. All right, what's next? Open sesame. That was our sample line. Take the clear waistline tubing and connect to the clear waist fitting. Again, it is important to make sure the tubing is pushed all the way past the bar. All right, let's do that. Guys, this is like, this is foolproof. You can't mess this up. I could probably. I could probably mess it up though. So clear tubing is our waistline. And the waistline, We'll connect right here. Match up clear to clear. Oh, this one's tough. This one, why is this one harder to get on? The other one's slid on really good. Just be careful not to like cut it or anything as you're installing this. Be gentle. Okay, looks like we got it installed. All right, what's next? Connect the one link port on the back of the Trident. For customers without an available one-link port, use the optional Aquabus cable and the power supply for the Trident. Connect the Aquabus cable to the Trident, then connect the power supply to the Trident. It is very important to not connect these cables to the Apex at this time. If you have already done that, please disconnect them. Alright, cable time. What do you say? Says something about the cables and somewhere or something? Oh, he said to plug it into the Apex, right? Oh, okay. Just kidding. Just kidding. Don't want to mess things up. They got the same ends? Oh, they sure do. Yeah. Oh, I find the hole. So we'll plug it in. Looks like the only one that fits. The little Aquabus. I think it's in. Yeah. I think it would click or something, but it don't. All right, let's not break it. Oh, I'm breaking it. Next. Now turn the Trident around so the front is accessible. Carefully slide open the Triton reagent drawer and place the reagent intake assemblies to the side. Find the Trident reagent box. Open the box and remove the reagents from the box. There are two reagent A in each box. Only one will be needed at this time. Place the extra reagent in a place of safekeeping at this time. 
Find reagent C and give the bottle a good shake. Then remove the cap. Take the reagent C and place it into the reagent drawer. Find the reagent C and take assembly. The assembly can be identified by its green color and the letter C label. Oh. Screw the intake assembly onto the reagent C bottle. A light hand tightening is all that is required. Make sure the intake assembly tubing is pointed towards the back left of the Trident reagent drawer. Back left. So we said back left? Let's do that. Get these tubes out of here. Tubes. Tubes. How many? Alright, we take the drawer out. Oh. Is that supposed to happen? I don't think that was supposed to happen. That wasn't in the video. Carefully slide open the Trident reagent drawer. All right, carefully remove the drawer, check. Reagent C, check. Give it a good shake, ah. carefully, check. Unscrew the lid, yeah. check. Place it into the drawer carefully, check. Put this in here carefully and screw it on. Just the finger tight is what he said, that's all that's needed. And make sure this is pointed to the back left of the trident. Looks back left to me. Alright, reagent C is installed. Let's go for B. Now find the reagent B and give the bottle a good shake. Remove the cap. Place the reagent B bottle in the reagent drawer. Find the reagent B intake assembly. The assembly can be identified by its blue color and the letter B label. Oh. Screw the intake assembly onto the reagent B bottle. A light hand tightening is all that is required. Make sure the intake assembly tubing is pointed towards the right of the Trident reagent drawer. B. Check. Give it a good shake. Check. Unscrew the lid. Check. Carefully place in the drawer. Check. We want to make sure it's facing which way again? I gotta put this in there a little bit. Only that's supposed to come out all the way. I'll put this here. I don't really say to the right. So you want to set it at the right, right? And these hoses are a bit wonky. All right, I'm assuming that reagent A is next. Let's find out. Now find the reagent A and give ah. the bottle a good shake. Oh. Remove the cap. Imagine Place that. Place the reagent A bottle in the reagent drawer. Find the reagent A intake assembly. The assembly can be identified by its red color and the letter A label. Screw the intake assembly onto the reagent A bottle. The light hand tightening is all that is required. Make sure the intake assembly tubing is pointed towards the right of the Trident reagent drawer. Reagent A. Check. Give it a good shake. Check. Unscrew the lid. Yeah. Oh, don't spill on me, please. There we go. Shake and carefully put it in. Check. Screw in our intake assembly. Check. And make sure the tube is to the right of the trident. Check. I'm ahead of myself. Let's go, uh, what's the next step? Close the reagent drawer. Be sure to guide the intake assembly tubing so that it does not... <clears throat> so the camera died and I just kept pressing on with it. So anyway, basically the next step was uh, close the drawer easy, easily. Uh, softly, uh, make sure none of the lines are pinched as you're closing the drawer or you won't get correct readings as a proper amount of reagent won't be able to go through. So make sure they're not kinked up at all or anything. Um, next is find a good place for the trident. Uh, you can have it on a shelf, bookshelf, um, what have you next to the tank. We're going to have it in the bottom of this controller cabinet. I routed the, the waistline, which is your clear tubing into a gallon jug. I have so many of these laying around. It was saying you need, or you could use a two liter soda bottle because they said that's the uh, normal amount that's dispensed by the time you need to replace your reagents. So, but one gallon is more than two liters, so it'd be perfect. So when we're on a reagent, we'll just dump it down the toilet or sink or something. And then the black line, which is our sample line, which takes the water from the, the sump or the tank. I routed that to the sump. It said make sure it's not in a place with a lot of micro bubbles. 
uh, dosing lines because that will throw off uh, the correct reading as well if you're dosing especially for alkalinity or something it'll be like super high because it'll take in that supplement and also a place that's algae free he also stated that you want to install the line pretty much level with the trident if at all if at all possible but don't have it two feet above the trident or else that could create a siphon and then it'll just drain the tank to the trident you don't want that it's bad i'll show you where i put mine so here's our line the clip holding it on and he also stated that you want it off the bottom of the sump. Make sure it's not sucking, you know, sump gunk up. Because that can clog the line, which would be bad juju. So he was saying like two to three inches above, have it off the bottom of the sump. So what I did is, uh, there's, you know, filter pad. And if you watch my other building of the sump video, you'll know um, that this is on a uh, type of shelf type deal. So I stuck it through the slot underneath. And it's just, can't really, I can't get it good. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you'll see it. A little dirty in there. But, uh, oh, focus on the gunk instead. But you see that piece that's just like kind of flopping in there? That's the tube. I mean, that's the optimal place I thought because I was like, mmm, skimmer section? No, because there's kind of a uh, little bit of bubbles from the skimmer. Uh, refugium? No, because there's more algae in there than anywhere else. So I was like, mmm, this would be the best place because over here, once we get our calcium reactor set up, um, this is where it's going to actually be dosing into uh, into the return pump. Uh, like I have this media reactor set up, but I don't have it on yet. But yeah, so the outlet will be going into this chamber as well and sucked right up into uh, the return pump. So, yeah, let's keep going. The last step of the physical installation of the Trident is to connect it to an available one-link port on your Apex. To do this, simply connect the one-link cable to an EB832 or one-link module. If you do not have an available one-link port, first connect the power supply to the available power outlet. Then connect the Aquabus cable to an available Aquabus port. Upon connecting the Trident to the Apex, it will immediately turn blue and begin its initialization. This will take three to five minutes, and upon completion, the Trident will turn orange. This completes the physical installation of your Neptune Systems Trident. All right, let's connect to the Trident. Ne let's connect the Trident to the Apex, to the Energy Bar A. Yeah. All right, guys. So my camera keeps like not cooperating with us. It's rather annoying. Anyway, I left I left you off with me connecting it to the Energy Bar A. Ooh. All right. Well, I hooked it up. Uh, I think I did catch the light turning on this, which is good. That means it works and it's doing its thing. So it's a, uh, I think it was orange when you plug it in and then in, you go start doing the initialization and everything and it turns blue. Uh, it's going to be blue for a little bit because if you look on the, uh, on the app, so when it initializes it does like a, a first, it's first test or whatever, what do you call it? But uh, right now it says uh, prime B, before that was prime A, and then before that was uh, initializing. So it's getting itself set up uh, to where it's going to be testing on a cycle. Right now it's doing its thing, it's priming uh, each one. It just finished with A, it's doing B. Um, it might do this for like an hour, a couple hours, who knows. But uh, I'll show you. You can see the blue light down there. But yeah, it's doing its thing. Pretty quiet actually. I say it's installed, guys. And it's pretty sure they give you uh, an extra reagent in there because you test alkalinity, I think, like minimum of four, but you can do more than four. I might do that because what it does, it does several tests during a day and then it averages it out. Or that way you know what your consumption is at different points of the day. Well, guys, this is our step by step installation of the Trident. It was fairly simple, and the app, the app really makes it super easy i just wanted to do it with you guys step by step i'm sure you can do it on your own but boom it's on the sps build next we're going to install the calcium reactor i've never done that ever before and it'll be my first ever calcium reactor so i think i'm going to do some reading up on these things and uh or wing it a little bit whatever anyway 
If you guys like this video, please give me the thumbs up, give me that like, and if you really liked it and you enjoyed it, and you want to see some more, hit the subscribe button. That's the best way that you can support this channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Sawfish TV, ow. Oh, uh, before I leave, uh, there is a giveaway going on. It's called Reef Keepers Delight. It's a Facebook group. Uh, there's actually a link down in this description. And it's also in the About section uh, in my channel. About me or whatever you call it. You know what I mean. It's really great giveaway. There's a lot of stuff in there. It's like over 500 bucks. And there's even a mini giveaway going in the group right now if you share it to your uh, personal Facebook. Anyway, head over there. Check it out. Hey guys, what's going on? Brian here. Welcome back to the channel. <coughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're installing the Trident.